calculate the percentage of multiple variables into one single variables using the sum command or sum function in SPSS and using also a compute variable command. In addition to that, I will show you how to use the syntax editor where you can save your code for the command. Here I have data extracted from exam result for, 20, for 38 students answering 76 multiple choice questions. As we can see here in the data view, first column, the participant, 1 to 38, and the other columns or variables from Q1 to Q76 represent question number 1 to question number 76. And each answer the student has completed in the exam, it's either recorded as 0 or 1. The value for each question is given a 0 or 1. 0 stands for wrong answer and 1 stands for correct answer. And what we want to do here is to calculate the percentage of the correct answer the student has achieved in this exam by adding, and this is can be done by adding all the value for the rows here for each student, i.e. adding the value for each question from question number one to question number 76, and then divide that by the total number of questions with the 76, and then multiply that by 100. And the way to do that is to use the sum command in SPSS. To do that, we click on transform, then click on compute variable. Here in this window, I am going to ask the software to calculate the percentage and place the score for each student percentage into a new target variable, call it student percentage it is in the exam. And to do that, I'm going to use the sum command. To use the sum command, we click here on the function group, click on all, and then scroll down to statistical, and then in the below box, select the sum function, drag that into the, into the expression, numeric expression. And as we can see here, the sum command comes with two brackets and then question mark separated by question mark. So we need to start adding the variables one by one between these two brackets. So drag the first one and add question number one. Drag the second one and add and add it to here. Sec and then question number two and then comma and then question number three comma. So the formula for doing the sum is that each variable has to be separated by a comma and continue doing the, re the, the same for the rest of the variable. Since we have a 76 and it is really daunting task to do that, I had already saved uh, the variable into word text and I'm going to here in Q1 comma up to Q76 and I'm going to select all these variable copy and then I'm going to place these all 76 variable in this area between the bracket. So if I right click and then paste 
all the variable has been inserted with a comma between following each one so now to calculate the percentage close the bracket use the sign here division sign so we need to divide the sum over 76 because we have 76 questions and then we need to multiply that by 100 to get the percentage so this is the formula for the software to use to add first of all all the variable together and then divide that by 76 then multiply it by 100 and generate a new column called student percent if i click on ok again this is the executed command here compute student percentage i.e compute generate a variable a new target variable called student percentage and the variable will contain a formula saying sum of all the questions or the variables divided by 76 multiplied by 100 and then the execute command here we notice that the software has calculated the percentage for each student an achievement in the exam and the exam result was for the first student is 81.5 percent and the second 76 and so on for each student so this is the way to calculate the percentage of added variable together now there is another way to do this student percentage uh, if we click on transform compute variable and I'm going to show you how to use the syntax syntax editor is a way of saving the code for the command into your files and then use this command repeatedly when you want to rerun the analysis or if you are mo adding more record to this data and you want to reanalyze the data then it will be much easier than entering uh, the formula here and then variable and then comma and so on so it will be a much better and easier way of doing that using the syntax code again we'll do the same i'm going to generate a new target variable call it syntax percentage and it's the same thing calculate the sum doing exactly the same sum between two brackets adding all the variables dividing by 76 and then multiply it by 100 and instead of clicking on ok icon i'm going to click on the paste if you click on a paste a new window will appear saying that syntax one editor in that syntax one there is a text a text states that data set activate data set one and then follow stop saying compute using the compute variable and then i call that syntax my mistake zeta but a syntax percentage equals sum adding all the variable divided by 76 multiplied by 100 and then follow stop then execute so here to execute this command i have to highlight the text and then click on the red arrow uh, the green arrow as indicated here icon and if you click on that the software will execute the uh, command and generate uh, another new column for the percentage and again it is exactly the same way to the one i've just so showed you, show you using the sum now we could save this syntax file into my one of my folders on the desktop and i'm going to save it in the syntax area and i'm going to call it here syntax number six sum 
and then percentage and then save now next time when I open SPSS and I want to re rerun the analysis or recorrect some mistakes in the data and then the easiest way is to just open the uh, syntax editor and just click on the execute button the green arrow and after highlighting the text so I'm going to delete this and I'm going here to show you the benefit of using the syntax let's say for example if the student number two uh, there was some of the questions were wrongly typed so if we change this to one correct and then two and then another one another three and another four so I've changed five cells here and definitely with these cells will uh, generate once you convert this from zero to one it will give you a different result here but again since uh, SPSS has already generated this variable we need to rerun the uh, analysis again using the compute command the quickest and the fastest way is to go click on open or we'll go here from file open syntax and then click on this click on open and again since I have cha made changes here uh, to this student number two I'm going to highlight that and I'm going again it will compute the data and make a command and generate a variable called syntax percentage and if I click on the green arrow again this will generate a new variables with the, the calculated percentage for each student as we can see here for student number two the value for the percentage has changed from 76 to 82 and that's due to modification of the few scores within the data so this is the advantage and the benefit of using the syntax editor and the syntax code for commands you can save it and rerun it as much as you want uh, to do it and whenever you modify your data add more records to your data then the easiest way is to use the syntax editor the command the command code the code for the command and then just run the um, or execute the analysis so this is the way to do percentage and calculate the percentage for multiple variable in SPSS into one variable using the sum command and also to use the syntax editor uh, for coding the command and saving it and reusing it as much or as many time as you want uh, for the analysis of your data.